Hi guys and welcome to your next project on EasyPy3. In this project we'll code a program that can be used to generate voucher codes for your website. Remember to code along with me, do not leave it for later. Imagine like me you have a website and you decide to put a sale on. Now you will need to create some voucher codes to provide to your potential customers. So let's go ahead and do that. As always start with a new file. And the first thing we're going to do is give our generator a title. Next, we're just going to create a variable called website and we're going to assign our website as a string to it. Okay, now we're going to create a discount amount variable. And we're going to put an input to allow the user to enter how much discount they want to give. And remember, this needs to be an integer. Now we're going to ask for the voucher amount. And this again needs to be integer. And now we can go ahead and create a for loop. So we're going to write for code in range. Here we're going to put zero as the start and the voucher amount. And then the colon and then we're going to write print. And we're going to use the F string to print our, our link. We're going to write in curly brackets website. And then a question mark. Now a question mark in the URL is a query string which is used on the server side to apply the code on the website. After the question mark we're going to put voucher code equals to and then another set of curly brackets which will include discount amount so the server knows how much discount to apply and then another set of curly brackets and this time we're going to put code in it and the code is to make sure that this is unique so you have unique numbers for all the different voucher codes. And that's it, we've done it, we can save it and run it. Now the problem with this generator at the moment is that code number always starts at zero. So what we need to do actually here is to create a variable that can be inserted into the database every time this code generator is used. So the same code is not generated each time for a given discount amount. So what we're going to do is go back here and put another variable code start and we're going to put that default at zero because that's where it's going to start right. And now we need another variable which is going to be where it ends and we're going to call this variable amount. We're going to assign code start plus voucher amount to it to make sure the end is obviously more than the code start. Update our range function to have the starting as code underscore start and the end as amount. And finally we need to update the code start every time someone uses the generator so we're going to update code underscore start and we're going to assign amount to it. This way every time this is run the code start is the same as where it ended last time and to show that we're just going to print out code start. Uh, if I save and run that, now the new code start is 10. Now what database would do is update code start to 10. So if I go back here and I put this as 10 and I save it and I run it. Now if I do 30% again and another 10, you see that now it starts at 10 and finishes at 19. And your new code start is 20. So the next time we run it, it's going to start at 20 and end at 29 if we get 10 more and so on and so forth. And there you have it. That's just one practical example of using the for loop. As always if you had any issues just ask me for help. Up next you're going to create a program using the for loop.